Right, so we are at the least fun part of the cruise, and that is the um, jocks. night before. <laughs> the night before. <laughs> <laughs> you're filming my jocks. Oh, I'll put a blur over it. You're good, you know? Um, yes, yeah, so. <laughs> Seriously, start again. No, I'm not starting again. Start again. I'm not starting again. Start again. You kind of got to. You've got to fill out these little forms and you've got some luggage tags that you put on your bag and then they all get taken down to the um put your clothes on please um they all get taken down to the cruise tom not terminal in the morning we actually have to get on get off pretty early tomorrow morning yeah, it's because we booked the bus to take us to the airport yeah and so we have to get off we have to get up at about what 6 30. Well, up seven to get off at seven thirty. We're just, I'm just comp. All right, tonight's attire, shirt, the jeans that I had when I got on. Have to go, going to have to wear the boots. Trying to get everything back into the suitcase again because tonight we have to put our bags out by eight o'clock so that we can pick them up um, down at the bottom of the cruise terminal um, in the morning. So I've just been trying to work out what to keep out and what not to keep out. And basically what I have now on now, except for some underwear and another top, is what I'm gonna be wearing tomorrow. I've kept these out, because <laughs> I can easily pop them into a bag. And I'm having a bit of trouble getting everything back into the suitcase again, because um, for some reason, you go and buy a couple of shirts and another couple of pair of underpants and I just can't get my suitcase back together again. So this is the um, suitcase all squeezed in. Didn't use these, these little pods for the washing machine because uh, none of the washing machines and dryers were actually working and I couldn't have been stopped trying to work out or sit around and wait for that to happen. Jeff, you still haven't got any pants on. <laughs> There's another shirt, I've got a jumper. So we are getting back into Hobart and it's nice and 28 here at the moment. It's going to be 15 tomorrow in Sydney and I think it's about 12 with a feeling of about 1 when we get back to Hobart. So joy, joy, joy. So I think I'm good to go. I'm going to have to wear boots though, which is kind of sucky, but that's okay. Um, oh, and there's Jeff's pants. <laughs> Right, now I can see. Yep, you guessed it, we are back at Dragon Lady for the last meal on this cruise. Ooh. Ooh. I'm seeing a, um, a broth that you can add wonton to. What? What are you talking about? It's on the menu. Well guys, that ends a great cruise. It's last night. And we just had Dragon Lady again. <laughs> Careful. Had all the entrees. And, um. What's wrong with you? Huh? What are you worried about? <laughs> just worried you're going to see his underpants again. Oh, gosh. Just had all the. A nice selection of entrees. Chatted to a really nice couple of ladies and from New Zealand from New Zealand in, and in, we in in the cargo right down New Zealand and we're just checking out the station see if there's a decent movie we've got an early start tomorrow we're up at 6 30 we're gonna get to the airport <laughs> and we've got lots of lollies to eat <laughs> <laughs> Jeff's got lots of lollies to eat you bought them I bought them for us. They're all yours. Hey, if you've got a question about drink packages, let us know. Because I'm your man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and you got told off by the nurse today. Oh, a nurse. Hey? The nurse. A nurse. The nurse. A nurse. He got told off. I didn't get told off. She just said, you've got to understand that. Oh, I don't even know. I'm not here to, to save your lives. <laughs> We look like we're in a hospital bed. Feel it. 
I, I feel like I need to be in the hospital, right? The last thing I need is more food. That's what my anus looks like. <laughs> That's how much food you eat in a craze. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> all right so guys that is the um the wrap up we haven't really done a wrap up but this is our very last night we are going to enjoy this movie and um we'll... some more lollies. have a look at <laughs> my lollies in there <laughs> and we'll see you again at 6 15 6 30 tomorrow morning and we will be in sydney well it's gonna be rough tonight Apparently. <laughs> Why do I even bother with you? <laughs> <laughs> and Berlin Beach Club test. If you're carrying your own luggage, please proceed directly to the gangway when you are ready. Our team members will guide you or just follow the yellow sign. It was a beautiful day in Sydney. I'd opted to go up to the pantry and have a little bit of breakfast and took an opportunity to go up on the top decks and get a nice look at the sunrise, what was left of that, and also the view. I don't think I could ever get sick of this view. So we were going to slowly make our way down. We had a ticket that we had to wait until a number got called and we had to wait in the Black Circus in order to disembark today. We were disembarking and then heading straight to the bus, which would be waiting outside for us. And the tickets for the bus worked out to be how much? Jeff, were they? Twenty dollars each to get taken to the airport from the ship. White tag twenty-four. That's right, white tag twenty-four. Have a fabulous rest of your day. We look forward to reading your comments and seeing you next time. Bye, Kevin. <laughs> Bye, person. Oh my God, she cries every time. Been most of our day today. <laughs> We're here somewhere. Where's my bag? If you're like us and you have to leave a cruise and head straight to the airport, I highly recommend getting a booking with the ship itself, whatever that might be, to the airport. It's such an easy process and it saves all the hassle of trying to cut bags through town or try and work out Ubers or special lifts or taxis or whatever. It takes about, oh, it's probably about 40 minutes thereabouts, 45, to get to the airport on this bus. We got stuck in a little bit of traffic, as you can imagine, with everyone getting off the cruise. It was a bit hard to get out of this part of Sydney, which is in and around the rocks. And we did have a little bit of a long wait at the airport. When we got there, we actually found there was an earlier flight and we went up to the Qantas counter and we managed to get ourselves an earlier flight, which was really good. It doesn't always happen, but it's not, no harm in asking and we succeeded this time. Before we knew it, we were on our way back to wintry Hobart.
I hope you've enjoyed watching the video today. In our next video, I'm going to take you back to where it all began and show you um, what we got up to in Sydney before we actually hopped on this cruise. So a little bit back to front, but that's okay. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe if you like what we're doing on the channel and I will catch you in the next video.